everybody. Glad you can join us. Just like I said, we got a fun show for you, man. I'm telling you, I have, wait a minute, hold on. Let me say this. I have a co-host today and I am with Vivian. Uh-uh. I am with Kayla Vivian, who is a life coach. So this is what I call almost my coach segment. But I just want to introduce to you today, Fast, Fast Start athletics man this is going to be an awesome show especially if you need some help with your athleticism so this is coach george eskridge and i got the marketing director yes. for fast start athletics and of course my co-host uh we're gonna have fun with them today let's have fun let's have fun so wait a minute so listen me and kayla want to flood them with questions so bad but we are going to hold and we're gonna ease them in real nice. We're gonna be nice, we're gonna be nice, right? Right. But you know what's coming there, Coach? Listen, I have known Coach Eskridge since the 10th grade where we ran track together. But we're not gonna tell you how long ago that was because that's just, we just not gonna do that. But <laughs> Coach, I am so glad to have you. First of all, because you're a longtime friend and I call him my best friend. I just want everybody to know that. Because you know, but I am glad to have you here. One, because I think you're a genius. I'm saying that on camera. He wants to get me, but he can't. So I, I'm saying, I think you're a genius. Wait a minute. And he is St. Stephen's own. So he is also a member and he's doing great things. He's been doing this for years. So George, tell us, tell all of us about what you got here. Well, um, first of all, my name is George Eskridge and I do have here Destiny Bell, a marketing director, Fast Start Athletics. Um, well, Fast Start, actually began when I was coaching track down at Campbellsville University, and we did a track clinic down at LaRue County uh, Middle School, and they wrote a check for $1,500. Yeah, okay. that's what I said. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, wait a minute, I need to be making this money. So uh, not only during the track seasons did I coach down at Campbellsville, but oftentimes high school coaches would ask me to check out their jumpers and give some tips uh, locally around here at Louisville. So um, that's how I kind of got started. One of the coaches said, you need to make money every time, you know, you give some advice or what have you at these different schools. So I said, well, okay, let me put this together and see what I can think of. So it started off kind of track based and then it started with, I knew other sports. I played other sports. Yeah. So, um, so that's one thing I've, I've tried to do is just try to encompass all the sports together and uh, have something for the kids. Wow. And you know what? So I know just because I know he has a big heart and he's a patient teacher. So tell us how, how you got hooked up with, and listen, oh no, I'm going I'm to hold that secret. How you got hooked up with the lovely Miss Destiny Bell? Uh, well, I can tell you. Okay, so, <laughs> so um, I ran track for Louisville Mill High School and I was a jumper and um, my coaches, they wanted to just give me an extra helping hand and they introduced me to Coach G, as I call him. And um, we practice after practice every week from my junior year to my senior year and I increased twofold. Wow. Um, I improved twofold. And um, then I got a scholarship at Campbellsville and then he coached me for another one and a half years um, at Campbellsville. And I transferred to U of L and I got a marketing degree. So um, I told him, I said, I can help you with your marketing. And I, you know, just, he's like a father figure to me. So I, you know, I just wanted to keep in touch with him. And I, when I wasn't competing, I still wanted to help with his business. Um, so I said, let me be your director of marketing. Let me do all your marketing. Let me do all your promotions. So wow. I've been doing that and we've been working together. That's awesome. Uh, I have a question. Who came up with the, the name? Cause I know names are so powerful. So who came up with fast start athletics? Well, first I actually went with fast, was it fast jumps. Wait, wait, jump start, jump, jump start. Uh, mainly because I coached the jumps yeah. and, uh, you know, being with track, you talk about the start and what have you. And when I went to go, I guess, sign my business up, I'm like, there's a lot of things that were jump starts, mm -hmm. a lot of different business 
And I don't know, it just came to me, fast start. Those creative juices came to you, you were like, okay, <laughs> fast start. Yeah, awesome. yeah. Okay. What would you say um, has been your most meaningful experience, um, you know, building this, this business or this uh, way to serve the community? What's been most meaningful to you? I think just having the opportunity to um, train young kids. You know, when I first started, we trained, uh, trained these two young, young kids, I think 10 and eight. And, um, you know, after the workout, the kid that was eight years old said, Coach G, you're the first coach that never yelled at me. Oh. And I was like, oh, <laughs> man. And don't make and me so, emotional on my show. Don't <laughs> even do it, Coach George. Don't so even make me emotional. That really touched me. And I said, you know, that's, that was my focus, to make sure the kids that did do sports or what have you work out, that they enjoyed it and that they had fun. I didn't want to be the one that, you know, killed their joy on whatever sport that they're doing. It, it makes a difference. Um, and I, and I, I wanted to point this out, just in case nobody caught this. So, uh, Destiny said you was coaching her in high school. Then she got a scholarship right, for that. college. You didn't catch that? <laughs> yeah. So, it's like you sowed seed and here's your harvest. Now, when I'm, I'm, I've, I've started my business, and here's the fun, I love this about God, because you start something and he sends you, he sends you wherever you need help. And um, I didn't even know Destiny had a marketing degree. Ooh, we gonna circle back on that. We gonna, <laughs> ooh, we gonna circle back. But I think um, that is one of the awesome, cause you know, let me just, everybody let me confess. Destiny corrected me, cause I said coach, because they work together. But she said, no, 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 I am the marketing director. <laughs> so let me just keep it straight. And please don't underestimate her abilities and her professionalism mm -hmm. by her baby face. So she is doing this thing, and I and I I am proud. I, like I'm like okay, do it. You know I want to be like you. you when I grow up. You know. <laughs> oh, so did I say that? I, don't you dare say it because we, we got company. We got company. <laughs> don't you dare. But okay, no, I just wanted to point that out because um, a lot of times you know that you're a good person when you start working with somebody, and then they want to come back and sew back into you mm -hmm. and make you bigger. Yes, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love that. Go ahead, Kayla. Mm -hmm. I can feel the juices. Yeah, I was, I was thinking. I was thinking because as a life coach, I know one of my main goals is to also motivate my clients. So um, I heard that you don't yell, and so I'm. But clearly, you motivate. So what, I mean, if you can think about like a saying that you love to say or or just how you pour into the people that you're working with, what, I mean, what comes to mind? Um, I think first knowing the athletes that you coach. Okay. Um, there are some that you need to hug sometimes. There's some that needs a kick in the butt. And okay. so. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I want to yeah. So you just have to know the people that you're dealing with. Okay. Um, and sometimes you just also know what buttons. I have gotten to the point where I can actually get athletes to do what I want them to do just by mm -hmm. saying what I know would motivate them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know if she knows, but what helped her towards the end of our, her career at Mail was we were practicing one day and uh, I knew that 16 feet was the mark. And so I pulled the tape to measure one of the jumps. It was about 15, 10, but I said 16. And when I said 16, she was like, oh, oh, oh. Called her mom up, yeah. And she was like, if I jump 16 now, when I get to regionals, you know, I know I'm gonna go further, you know, just because I'll be in competition. Right. And sure enough, she jumped, what, about 16? 16, three and a half. Came 16. Third in the region. I'm sorry, she said third in the region, just in case nobody caught that. Oh yeah. my, see. Then my other coach, who was not, was my coach in college, I mean high school, told me, you did great this meet, but you're probably not going to do that next meet in state. You oh can't, you can't do that well twice in a row, basically. And I cried to my mom and said, he said that I can't do this. And I didn't practice with him and I only practiced with Coach G after that. And it was like the end of the semester. Um, and lo and behold, I came fourth in the state and jumped 17 
four. What you say? Okay, wait. Was it seven? No, it was seventeen two. <laughs> okay, I, I'm sorry. I had a break. I had a break broke on just to yeah. do that. Okay, okay, okay. okay I'm good. And, and that <laughs> comes to even that <laughs> that week. I wasn't actually there. I was actually at our national uh, down in Alabama. But she had called me and said, number one, that they were practicing. Her and her mom were out there practicing. And uh, I think actually your mom might have called me and said she forgot how to jump. I'm like, what? <laughs> Put her on the phone. <laughs> yeah. And it was just that her steps were off and I just made the adjustment. She finally got a good jump. I said, okay, that's good. You jumped enough. From the telephone. From the telephone. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. And then the next day she calls, it's the day before the meet, and she's like, my mom wants to practice. Tell her that we don't need to practice. So I said, put your mom on the phone. <laughs> have your back, girl. Yeah, have your, have your back. It's, it's awesome support. And, uh, and I told her that, you know, didn't need to, just need to rest and get prepared for the meet. And so I told her I'd talk to her later on. And so I was trying to think of everything that she needs to do during the meet. Get your steps right. Yeah. Make sure you finish your jumps, you know, all these things. But then I said, you know what? I'm just going to tell her one thing. Have fun. Come on. And that was it. Come on. So That's I didn't want her to think about anything. Just wanted her to jump. And that was it. You know, I can see what you do connecting with what she does. You know, we don't, you know, when we're, we are competitive. Now, so I can say this. Because when we used to run on the track together. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> listen. I don't care. George is not. Did you hear me? He left me in the dust every single time. But <laughs> every time in my mind is I'm going to catch him. I'm going to catch him. I know I never did. But I told myself, but what people don't understand is when you encourage someone, sometimes you can yell at them. And I've never seen my son do good when you yell, yell, yell. But mm -hmm. when you push their confidence, man, there are so many great things that people can do. And they don't know that they can do that. Now, I, now, and I want to highlight your business because, you know, number one, love coaching myself. Okay, don't you say it. <laughs> However, I love it to where people enjoy what they do and they drive their self to get better because they have people be, that believe in them. Mm -hmm. So, and I used to tell them, listen, I believe in you. I'm waiting for you to believe in you. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think when we push people like that and push them into their confidence, they can do things that they never seen themselves doing, which is why I love what you do with Fast Start Athletics. That's why I wanted you to come on this show because there are people who have kids right now who want to be athletes who have been discouraged by people that they've been coached by because they've been told they can't do it. And here is right here, our own St. Stephen church member who can help and push by motivation and not, um, What's the word I'm looking for? You might not know because it's a negative word. You know, you only know <laughs> positive words. But, but discouragement or um, con condemning maybe or say, you know, that point kind out of your attitude, mistakes. That, that opposite attitude to force somebody into it. Sometimes, uh, and I know some people might need it, like you said. Some people need, you know, a stern push. And some people just need one of those gentle encouragements that say, hey, you know, you got this. Um, and I, that's why... Uh, fast start at fast start i'm going to get a fast start into where i'm trying to go and i love that listen though he has a commercial he has so much other stuff and when we come back i want to show you that too hey so check out this commercial that we got up on fast Start athletics be right back Hello, my name is George Demery, and I'm your host for Your Money Matters. We promote financial literacy. We help you to find business and education opportunities. We champion strategic thinking of how you spend your money. We want to help you to become more credit worthy. Look for ways of getting that credit number over 700. And finally, we want to help you to break away from financial slavery, debt. Join us each week right here or on demand at sclivetv.com. SSC Live TV, truth, justice, 
our TV done our way. Welcome back. This is real sauce. All right. Go ahead, Kayla. <laughs> so, I really want to know about some of your services or what you offer. Just, just, just tell us more. Tell us more. All right. Well, um, we have a hurdles, jumps, and throws clinic. It's an annual clinic that we do, usually in the springtime. Our third annual is coming up this March. And um, we will actually be giving two high school seniors a $500 scholarship. Ooh. Wow. Wow. And That's it's up. going to be at, remind me where it is. <laughs> Central Harden High School. Okay. Outside of uh, Elizabethtown. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, earlier we were talking about uh, you just being able to motivate. And really what stood out to me was the fact that you took things to the next level. Not only are you going to reach your goal, but I want you to have fun. Um, when you think about your life, like, can you name a coach that you had or a teacher that really stands out or really, you know? <laughs> I'm going to see if he's going to get in trouble. Go ahead and name him. I'm not, I'm not going to get in trouble because... Um, I was blessed to have the coaches that I had in high school. Yeah. Um, all of them. I mean, one of them, <laughs> one of them actually got me started in coaching, Coach Mike McCoy. Um, then I had Coach <laughs> Dickerson. He was my realtor. He helped me buy my first house. What? Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> Coach Bishop, he actually took, uh, he was our photographer at my grandmother's birthday parties a couple of times. So yes, yeah. so they all played a role in my life. And that's one of the things I just try to do is try to give back because of what was given to me. Mm -hmm. I see that relationship oriented approach really standing, standing out here. So I'm super, I think that's super dope. Um, okay, so you, you spoke about the clinic. YouTube, I went to YouTube and I saw an intro video and it started with poetry. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, mm -hmm. yes. but it really stood out to me because especially even with what I do with life coaching, I really believe in leading with creativity and not so much, you know, oh, well, not it's not just painting and it's not just acting. It's really just approaching things from a different perspective. Like I like I hear you do, you know, with motivating and, um, you know, really allowing your athletes to have fun. So I'm thinking about um, the magazine. Can you tell me a little bit more about the magazine that you have for yes. uh, kids? Yeah. So we started a, uh, a magazine called Fast Start to Sports. It's a kids sports magazine. And one of the things I wanted to do was have something that was interesting for kids to read, especially once they get into that fourth grade, fifth grade yeah. time. And uh, so we, we created it and um, it has educational components to it where you actually have a little story in the beginning and you have some questions to answer. We have a segment called the scoreboard and it's our uh, math problems, uh, word problems. Wow. And then we also have a section for um, games and puzzles. But we also, each magazine also focuses on one specific sport. And so we tell about the rules of the game, um, we also have a diagram of the court or the field that we use. Um, then we have some other things in there. We have actually we have a segment called uh, Future All Star. So we have a couple of kids and we, <laughs> in there. We, yeah. we uh, give a little bio, some of their favorite things they like to do, and what they want to be when they grow up. Yeah. Um, and then we have some questions, some did you knows, like you know just. Did you know Edwin Moses uh, won 122 races, 400 hurdles in a row without getting beat? I love that. I love just, how you incorporate that educational oh, piece. Yeah. And also, like, especially for the athletes, the young athletes being able to get a magazine and really even see themselves, you know, potentially in that magazine. I yeah. think that's like such an awesome. It's another way to motivate. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, you know, I, I wanted to say this, Kayla, thank you for bringing that up, because sometimes when you have children who struggle with reading because it's always boring, you know, I, when I used to work in the school system, I always found something that they loved. So if they love sports and you give them something that 
that uh, has a sports related, mm -hmm. it helps them to jump into reading um, and into academics a little better because it's something that they love, that they're interested in. So, you know, doing that, I, that's a, it's, it's key for academics. Go ahead. It's, uh, it's, it's made for kids, but all, uh, adults love it too. I believe it. I do. <laughs> I, do I mean, my mom even read it. She's a former teacher, and uh, she's like, I got the math problems right. Yeah. <laughs> and didn't you do, you did an episode, I think, with JB, am I right? I did a, uh, a segment for, we had a, uh, um, a legend, sports legend yeah, segment. Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. uh, JB Brown, who was a home goal rider, former teammate of mine. And, Good uh, friend he, of ours. Yes. <laughs> And uh, so, yeah, he was, he, he definitely supported Fast Start Athletics. Uh, J so JB, we, we were all in high school together. And then he, he graduated, he went to college, graduated, uh, recruit, we got recruited with the Harlem Globetrotters. Mm -hmm. And he played with them like, oh my gosh, it's like really JB is playing for the <laughs> Harlem. i never forget when we went to go, why like JB is really on the Harlem Glo Globetrotters. Cool. And um, uh, not too long ago, uh, he went on to be with the Lord, and so uh, people have done different things to to honor him. But uh, that magazine touched my heart, you know, just because of that's why I wanted to mention it. Okay. I'm oh, I think we were gonna name our scholarship after him, right? Yes. Our, our, yes. our track Don't scholarship. Let me cry. Yes. <laughs> because JB was also a track uh, all American. He, sure was. he set the state um, high jump record when he was uh, a senior high in high school. Yeah. yeah. Sure did. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Look at him taking <laughs> hometown, putting it into the magazine, and then making that uh, magazine uh, academic. Why? Because you know what? If that, you're saying that, then school ought to, you know, look, I'm just going to say, you mm -hmm. know, <laughs> have to have topics that help, you know. So I, I just think people should, you know, if they, especially if they got kids, I guess it doesn't matter what, what age, right? Right, right. marketing director? Right. You know, if, you know, if they, uh, they uh, what do you call it, subscribe? Mm -hmm. So the more subscribers, the more you think I'm fine. Mm -hmm. This is my word. This is I'm like, uh-huh, you right got here. it. <laughs> <laughs> but the more people who subscribe, I think it's, okay, I don't like to make it about race, but little boys, especially little black boys, um, you know, who, who love sports, who are into it, that's their thing, you know, running and, and sometimes just, I know that I'm not trying to be against my girls because I know my girls rock hard because I did, but um, I just think that, you know, little girls are more academically inclined. Little boys, you know, uh -uh, I, want, I need to, I, I got my attention elsewhere. Give me that football, give me something to throw across the room or something like that, but getting them I'm just big on academics because, you know, that's what I do. I'm just big on academics. Yeah. But I just want to lay emphasis on um, subscribing to your magazine. But I think there's some more you had to tell us. Am I right? Am um, I, right? I did want to add, okay. um, <laughs> if you would like to have your child start in our future athletes on our next edition, you can visit our website, fatstartathletics.com, and then you can go to contact us, and you can fill out a form, and it'll send it straight to us, and we'll reach out to you. Ooh, love it and we're yes. gonna we're gonna have i'm gonna have your information up so even at the end of this show you'll see uh all of their information all their contact we're gonna have their uh, website up um all, commercial social, social media mm -hmm. social media yes okay go ahead Sorry. I, i'm gonna have that up on the show though yeah. Well, that's all I have for that part. Okay, um, but um, we also have our track and field manuals, which is not a magazine, but it's kind of in a flip book. And um, I'll let Coach talk about that. So um, one of the things that COVID um, allowed us to do was since we didn't have a track clinic last year, okay. um, I was still thinking of ways to get to the athlete and kind of train them. And so, wrote this track manual. It's actually fast start to track and field. Uh, right now, we just have the hurdles um, edition out right now. Wow. So, what makes this unique is that if you get a, tr a manual, you can get you know the drills and they tell you what to do, but you don't get a chance to see see the drills. Right. Well, in our manual, e manual, you get actually we have videos of the drills, Excellent. the warm up drills, the cool down. For hurdles, it's a trail leg, 
uh, the lead leg drills. And then we also have workouts for in season and off season, uh, kind of sample workouts that you can use as a base for your own workouts. And then we also have tips from some Hall of Fame coaches like uh, Mike McCoy and James Webb. There you go. <laughs> Uh, two, of the, two of the best hurdle coaches around. Yes. And uh, they actually will be at the clinic too. <gasps> Get that um, Coach McCoy to come out to a clinic. That is awesome. I said that on camera, didn't I? <laughs> I think I'm going to hide. <laughs> um, also, uh, we even have um, a little glossary because we, we have terms and stuff that we use and that will allow them to know what we're talking about. Wow. So. I'm going to say it one more time, okay? Genius. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I'm going to call him a genius to his face. Genius. Yeah, I mean, would you um, consider yourself a creative? <laughs> <laughs> um, I didn't before. <laughs> I guess maybe, maybe, uh, maybe a little bit. Um, just trying to think outside the box a little bit and uh, do some things people haven't done. Uh, around here, at least. I've never seen it. Well, okay. Tell them about your creative uh, CP timing. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's just a creative name. Okay. It's a great okay. name. It's uh, critical precision timing. And um, what we do, we actually time track meets. Uh, it's a group, uh, myself, Robert McCoy, James Webb. Uh, we've been doing it for the last couple of years. And uh, because at track meets today, you have to have electronic timing. Yes. And so that's what we do. And we do high school. We do every level. We've done college, high school. Wait, so this school. is something that you do, like like this is what you guys do? Like this is track a part of, yeah, really? track seat. Yeah. So, so like as a like like a little organization like they they hire you or they bring you guys school, in school school yeah the track team would give us a call and say can we can we time or can you time this meet that we're hosting oh wow and we say yeah on our schedule we can do it okay so, so I can say genius can I if you're the marketing <laughs> yeah. director do I have permission to call him genius yes okay thank you <laughs> <laughs> that's a great I thought it was a great name. Yeah, it, that is like. Again, I feel like it's the, he's he's a genius, especially with the uh, relationship oriented approach. Because yes. I, when you see P time, you automatically the think like black folks, right, right, right. Not on the resolution. It's precision. Okay, it's now, precision. I see. Yeah. Changing the mentality of CP time. Approaching it from a different <laughs> perspective. I love that. What um, advice would you have for anyone or in, any student, athlete, uh, millennial? I'm going to shout y'all out. But uh, <laughs> um, what advice would you have for the creatives that want to give back and, and want to, you know, give back in a way that um, I guess you, they, they see the fruits of their labor, if that makes sense? Well, um, since I don't really see myself as being creative, I'll hand that over to Destiny. <laughs> what do you think? Um, well, because she's very creative. Really yeah, creative. Push that on you real quick. well, <laughs> I'd say I have some innovative ideas for sure. Um, it's just nice to see your hard work turn into something, and and me being marketing, I you know create something for the public, and I have to think about how it's going to be perceived, mm -hmm. and you just have to think like. What are they going to think when they see this? And I also just look at it as a consumer, and that's really what makes you more, what makes, helps me be creative is to think outside the box because you can't just think about what you mm -hmm. see. You have to think about what everyone sees. Wow. I love that. So just really looking at the different perspectives and considering. Yeah. And with that, and with, listen, we got to have them right back on here again because, oh my gosh, they rock hard. And I know that was worth gold. Uh, make all checks to George Eskridge. I, I'm playing, but you know what? I pray that you enjoyed this show. Hey, listen, we'll see you next time right here on Real Talk with Jay Renee and Kayla Dennis.